Hi! Today we're going to talk about basic attachments. So what are attachments? Attachments are just like equipments that you can use for your dwellers to get bonus stats and set effects. I'm gonna show you one. So this is the page where you can see the attachments that I have for my dweller. There are different categories for each attachment similar to uh, equipments and your dwellers. There are attack types, death types, support types, and med types. You need to make sure that you assign the right attachment for the right dweller. For example here, um, my attack character or my attack dweller is equipped with attack type attachments. This is to ensure that you get the maximum maximum amount of uh, damage that you want for your character and uh, to be able to utilize where your character or where your dweller is good at. The next um, topic that I would like to discuss is rarities. So there are four or oh, five, five types of uh, rarities for your attachments. The white ones or the common ones. The green ones are the uncommon attachments. Um, there are three others that I don't have with me right now. But the next one is blue, which is for rare. And then the purple attachments are the epic attachments. And then lastly, the best of them all is the, the orange attachment, which is legendary. Each attachment will, I mean, each level of rarity will have more bonus uh, after the other. The first obvious one is the base power that they have. So if you would see here, the common attachment only has three power at base level one. And then the green attachment has six power at base level one. Additionally, each uh, level of rarity will have another bonus stat that you can that you can use for example uh, let's go with this one if you would compare the sanitized gloves uh, the uncommon sanitized gloves with the common sanitized gloves you will see that there is a bonus uh, defense here in the uncommon sanitized gloves which is not there in the common sanitized gloves Another item that I would like to discuss is the set effect. So there are two set effects that you can get for every attachment. The first set effect is being triggered once you get two out of the four equipped. The second set effect is triggered when you have all the four attachments of the same kind equipped. So in this example, I have all the four uh, good neighborhood um, attachments. That's why I have the power of good neighborhood set effect. This is good for your attack type uh, dweller, especially on the early game, since good neighborhood items or attachments are easy to find. And it gives you good bonus uh, when you have all the four attachments equipped. Another item that I would like to um, let you know is that you can have two different set effects triggered at the same time. So like this one here, since it's hard to get all four attachments uh, available during the start of the game, you can mix and match two different uh, types of attachment so that you can get the most out of the uh, four slots that you have. So for this example, I used the Minuteman hat and Minuteman badge to trigger the Minuteman last stand set effect that gave me 7% HP. And then I used the sanitized gloves and researcher's shoes for the institute scholar set effect that gave me 7% damage. So you can play around with your attachments and make sure that you get the most out of the set effects. 
I am using like for this one I am using a common a common attachment because I am really after the set effect at this point but of course you'll have to uh, improve them as the game progresses so that you get the most out of your attachments and then lastly the upgrades I know most of us during the early game are afraid of making a mistake especially with uh, the things that might that we might not be able to get back right so you don't have to worry with attachments because there is no XP uh, there's no XP loss and I think it's the 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 game developers included it here as well they mentioned that there's no XP loss oh, it's not here oh, no. So whenever you have the chance, you should always upgrade your attachment. I'm gonna give you an example. Let me look for... So let's say for let's say you want to upgrade your good neighbor gloves uncommon right so right now it's level one and you want to use this uh, old gloves that has level that is already at level 11 so if you upgrade this oops see you will see that using this item or using this uh, level 11 attachment to upgrade your level 1 attachment will just it will just transfer the experience that was already put into the level 11 item to the new one that you will upgrade see the final level of the good neighbor gloves will be from 1 to 11 so essentially there's no XP that was lost us ah, so here here's the, the statement that I was talking about earlier so there's no XP loss when using materials for upgrading the only thing that you need to look out for is that you should only use the material that you have if it's a duplicate already like for this one I won't upgrade this uh, or I won't spend this as a, as a material to upgrade this one because if I do this uh, this level 11 gloves will disappear once I click upgrade so the other uh, materials that you have or the either other attachments that you have such as this one you can use the duplicate and use it to upgrade oh and again don't 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 worry that you'll run out of uh, these uh, XP items because there is no XP loss so as much as possible use them as soon as you have as soon as you get them all right so those are the basics for the attachments that I have for today I will create another another video for uh, the advanced attachments and I will talk um, mostly about uh, the crafting so yeah i'll uh, keep you guys posted and uh, just just uh, subscribe to my channel so that you know if uh, it's out already thank you